it away. So again, we'll be needing your art workbook, and uh, I'll show you guys the correct page that we'll be working on. If you don't have an art workbook or you misplaced it, you can always just watch, or you can get a blank sheet of notebook paper, and we can just uh, write down the answers of what we have to do. All right, so here's the art workbook. And the last page that we did was the two-point perspective. Next page after that is called Talking About Art. So it should look something like this. Okay, I'll wait a little bit so you guys can get to this page. Has two circles on the right hand side and it has a picture of Picasso's artwork and Kiki Smith's artwork right there. Okay, it's towards the back and it was the page right after the two point perspective. Again, if you don't have the workbook, a blank sheet of notebook paper will work just as fine. All right. All right, let's get started right away. I don't want to waste any time because I want to give you guys an opportunity to share some artwork of your own at the very end. All right, here we go. I can learn to talk about art. Talking about art is a big part of being an artist. We can look for similarities and differences in art by observing what elements and principles of art are being used in each art piece. So if you look down below, we have two pictures here. One's by Picasso. He's an abstract artist. And another one by Kiki Smith. And she's more of a realist artist. So basically what they're asking is what elements of art and principles of design do you see in each of these artworks? We would normally write them down down here. Uh, we're not going to do that, so we'll skip that part for now. But let's talk about these two circles right here. Okay? So let's fill out these circles. And we can use a pencil, pen, doesn't matter to me. And we're not going to draw anything in particular. We're just going to be writing down what we see. Okay? So the first question asked, what's similar in the two artworks? So I'm going to create maybe like one, two, three, four, maybe five bullet points. And then the next question it asks, what's different in the two artworks? And I think I'll do the same thing. So one, two, three, four, five. And again, I don't know why it's the shape of a circle, but we'll just draw in it, or we'll just write in it. All right, with that said, I'm going to make sure that my tile layout is a little bit larger so I can see people raising their hands. All right, let's go with the first question. Anyone see any similarities between the two pictures? And then at, once we're done, I'll show you guys what the previous class uh, thought they were. Anyone have any ideas of what was similar? And again, if you want to type in chat, you can also. Anyone see anything similar? All right, I'm going to pick Layden. What do you see? What is similar between these two pictures? The both girls. Good job. All right. I'm write down the word girls. Good job. Who's got another similarity? Anyone? Anyone else? You guys need to wake up. <laughs> Anyone else? No one? All right. I see another hand up. Andres, what else do you see? Um, They both have a face. Awesome job. I'm going to reword it and I'm going to just call it a portrait. So it's basically meaning it's the focus is on more of the head. Good job. Anyone else see any similarities? I know it's a hard one to look at because they look so different. Um, I see Devin. What else do you see? What's similar? They both have hair. Oh my gosh! Really good observation. Hair, and they all—it's also long. They both have long hair. Good job, Kaylee. Good job. She said they're both people. I'll write down that on top. They're both girls and they're both people. Good job. Anyone else see any similarities? No one? All right, in that case, oh, I see one more hand up. Isabel. Isabella, go ahead. They both have their hand like by their face. Oh, hand by face. Good job. All right, with that said, let me show you guys what the other class came up with. Other class came up with woman, portrait, uh, hand placement, uh, not smiling, um, stripes and lines in the background, uh, hair length, and dresses. So you guys did a pretty good job. Right, let's do the next one. The next one is what's different in the two artworks? 
What is different between these two artworks? Anyone know? We'll do, again, five bullet points once again. All right, Kaylee's saying in the chat their faces are different. That's a good one. Um, I guess I can just put, it's not really that descriptive, but I'll, I'll count it. Face is different. Do you know how the faces are different? Anyone else have any other ideas? All right, I see another hand up. I see a couple hands up, actually. Gabriel, go ahead. Um, one is made out of um, shapes, and one is realistic. OK, shapes versus realistic. That's a good observation. Anyone else? Andres, go ahead. Andreas. Um, one of them has a hat on, the other one doesn't. Oh, do you even see that? Hat versus none. Good job. Anyone else before I show you what the other class came up with? Anyone else? All right, I'm going to flip over the post-it of what the other class had. The other class had abstract versus realistic, which is awesome. Another one that they came up with was indoors versus outdoors. I'll put that for you guys as well. Um, they also wrote down headwear versus no headwear. Basically, hat versus none, like how you guys came up with. Uh, one person said the uh, one was crying versus one is looking in the distance. And they got the way of crying by looking at the title of the artwork, because it's called Picasso's Weeping Woman. That was pretty smart. Uh, another person said one is zoomed in versus zoomed out. And one said one mouth is open and one mouth is closed. So those were pretty good ones right there from the last class as well, just like you guys. Good job. All right, we're going to put this one away. And we're going to move on to the next page. This next page will be fairly quick because we only need to write down four sentences. And that's it. And then after the four sentences, we can start sharing some stuff. All right, so let's just go over it really quick. It says, when looking at art, you might notice you like some art and dislike other art. What is important is to figure out why. It might be because you don't like the subject matter, or you can't relate to the artwork, or you don't like the colors or the technique shown. Any feeling is okay, but using your art vocabulary to talk about it is what you want. So what they want you guys to do below is look at the two portraits above. Which one do you like better? Why? Use your art vocabulary and at least four full sentences. So before you guys get started, let me show you guys some things that you guys could use. Some art vocabulary you can use is, do you like the right one better or the left one better? So right versus left. You can talk about the background. You can talk about who or what is being shown. You can talk about the feelings or emotions that it's trying to convey. Or here's an easy one. You can talk about the elements of art being used or the principles of design that are being used. And that's pretty easy because if you guys look at your packet, if you look at the very first page, those are the elements of art. So line, shape, and form, space, value, and so on. And the next page after that, those are the principles of design. So you can talk about this kind of vocab. So pattern, variety, balance, proportion, and so on. So if you want to use those kind of vocab words, you can. And it's only asking you to do four sentences. And that's it. All right, while you guys are working on that, um, I'm going to turn my camera around. It's not time to go yet. We still have five minutes. But it's five minutes that I'm allowing to share some artwork, because I promise you guys. Anyone want to share some art? Just raise your hand, and I can call on you. Landon, you can go first. Go ahead. Oh, nice. It uh, looks like a gingerbread house, kind of. Cool job. All right, anyone else want to share? Addie, go ahead. OK, I have like three, but can I show you them really quick? Sure, go ahead. We have time. We have the first one. Oh my gosh, that's Among Us. Nice job. And then here's Stitch. Neat deal. Cool. And then this one. Oh, neat. That's awesome. 
Did you guys know I almost made a career day uh, project based on Among Us characters, but I decided not to? So sorry. All right, Layden, go ahead. I also did Among Us. This was uh, in React. Really. Wow, that's really detailed. How long did that take you? Wow, good job. For like two minutes. <laughs> okay. I have some captions here. All right. Anyone else want to share? Now's the time. Wow, we had so many more volunteers in the last class and we ran out of time. All right, Andreas, did you want to share? Um, I colored a uh, different type of video of the design. Oh, neat. That's really cool. Wow, it's big too. Good job. All right, anyone else want to share? And if I can't see you on my screen, you can always unmute yourself and say hi and like, I want to share. No one else, really. Wow, there were so many other people that wanted to share last class. We ran out of time. All right. Uh, well, that said, it's only 1.27. Uh, however, uh, we do end at 1.30. So if there's anything else that needs to be shared, no one else? All right, I guess we're done. Let me just stop with the recording so I can see who the recording is going to go to. Hey, it's going to